today we're going to create a helix staircase so let's go ahead and create a primitive cylinder I'll change the radius to about 5 and the height to about 240 um, I'll adjust it so the base is with the grid okay um, and let's go ahead and create a helix spline and change the plane from XY to XZ um, the height should be the same as our cylinder so just input 240 um, the radius I think about 120 would serve us fine for both the start radius and the end radius so now we have to modify the end angle perhaps 180 would serve us fine I'll change again the radius to about 100 for both of them okay um, so I'll now create a spline rectangle and this is a rectangle that we're going to sweep in the spline so I'll just change the width and the height and create a sweep nerves okay so now we have our rail but as you can see it's twisted in a not way so just go to the sweep nerves properties and on the object tab disable banking okay what we have to do now is go to the top view and with the linear spline we're going to create our step so the first point should be roughly in the center of the cylinder and the two points should be touching the rail and then just hit close spline it doesn't have to be perfect because we can modify it later so just go to the uh, nerves menu and select extrude nerves while holding alt so the spline is automatically made a child of the extrude nerves um, let's change the movement about 3 meters in the y-axis to create our step um, just up a bit okay so now we need to create more steps uh, for the rest of the stair we could copy paste them or more easily use MoGraph but for those of you who doesn't have MoGraph and don't want to copy paste um, just select the extrude nerves and go to the functions menu and to the duplicate function um, just enable generate instances and in the mode linear mode and hit apply and we can now start playing around with the settings so the position one is really high I think I'll set it to about 20 so I'll need more copies oh, about 11 okay um, the only thing that's left to do is enable rotation and just find one that suits us well maybe a bit more okay so this is everything for creating a really simple helix there don't forget to visit www.arxy4d.com for more tutorials free objects and the Arxy4D training series.